I'm in Lesage, West Virginia at Hillbilly Hot Dogs. This is like a folk art themed uh, restaurant. Uh, the food's also apparently really good and this is the first place I've ever actually visited in West Virginia. So we're gonna go check this place out. Here there's like a something, there's like a rock, a pieces of a plow, there's a shoe sticking through it. And of course we have the Hillbilly gas station where you can pump your fuel and also uh, well I don't think you can use this one hope not nope up on the hill is teeny weeny land and uh, this is glorious a giant wiener hot dog it says hillbilly hot dog oh that's that's great that's really great. I'm contemplating to which degree uh, wiener jokes are okay on this family-friendly channel. On this side, we have the one, it actually looks like it was a church bus, formerly a, a school bus. Not sure, and you can uh, actually go on top, and there's a deck. Not a, you know, a deck. So there's just all sorts of junk, little telephone. See the giant wiener over there? And this is up on the deck. Surprisingly, no one's really here today. Um, I know like around the time of the Mothman Festival, it gets ridiculously crowded. And uh, that's the Ohio River. There's a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff. Not sure who that guy is. An old rocking horse, bicycle, and an old gas pump. So this is the shack, I guess is the proper term for it. Hope that's not offensive. Um, that's the inside of the restaurant, like the kitchen. The inside of the place is just as crazy as the outside, and apparently anyone can sharpie on anything they want. The place is owned and operated by Sonny and Sherry Knight, who opened it in 1999. There's a wall of hillbilly memes, some rather disturbing. Heading inside of one of the two buses that you can eat in, both have been very thoroughly scribbled over. All the tables are carved on, and uh, they have little flowers in 
spam cans. Well, I know it's called Hillbilly Hot Dogs, but uh, here's the thing. I don't really like hot dogs, so I uh, just got a burger. Supposedly the hot dogs are really good, but uh, so are these, I assume. You can also be outside at these picnic benches. A lot of license plates. Looks like SpongeBob got murdered. If this doesn't say America, I don't know what does. Here's Darth Vader giving instructions on how to use a bathroom. Yeah, you know, I don't think I count as a hillbilly. Guess this is the sugar shack. just so much to look at. Hmm, it looks like they winch the competition. I guess that's what they do around here. Oh, this is some weird stuff. This is one of those places where I feel like I've completely lost my mind because I don't understand anything that's happening. There's a Billy Bass. Well, it looks like they have another bus. Looks like they have like a really old uh, Ford model something up there. All rest of the car, that's pretty neat. All right, into the bus. I don't think people usually eat in here. It is also outdoors, so it's very hot. Huh. There's a creepy baby. I don't think there's that much to say at this point. Just so much stuff. And of course, the Kissing Cousins Marion booth. Oh geez, they have a chapel too. On the back, a bunch of wheels and another church bus. the motorcyclist photo booth. So that was Hillbilly Hot Dogs, a really, really unique folk art environment and restaurant. Definitely one of the best restaurants I've ever been to now. We'll definitely return in the future. Um, if you like this video, I've been to a few other weird restaurants, roadside attractions, all sorts of stuff. So please go check those videos out and uh, thanks for watching.